In this video I will show you how to connect Quest system to your own project. As an example I will use third person template with own player controller, player character class, game mode and HUD. First let's copy content from my HUD widget to your HUD widget. If you haven't your HUD widget you can use my HUD. This HUD is created in player controller at begin play event. Just select all content, copy and paste to your hat. We need to add some logic to player controller class. Open quest player controller. Open player controller in your project, copy three managers, for quest manager you can set starting quest, add the two interfaces, quest system need to determine with what target character will interact. To find target I use this simple logic. You can copy it if you haven't your own. Connect this variable to, to output of interface function. Also, let's copy show notification function logic. Copy inputs, save and load game, quit game, attack if you want, toggle visibility cursor if you want. Also we need to copy logic for begin play event. Load location and initialize managers. Managers should be initialized, initialized after HUD is created. Copy some logic from quest player character class. Copy two sphere collision components. Make sure that 
component tag is set as world for world component and compass for compass component. Copy all this logic. For saving and loading, I use two classes, save game class and game instance class. If you haven't such classes, you can use my classes. Just open project settings, maps and mods, set my game instance, GI, uh, quest system. All info will be saved automatically. But if you have your own classes, you, you need copy logic from my save game class to your save game class, from my game instance class to your game instance class. Don't forget implement interfaces. In this case, we will use my game instance. Out of the box, if you will use my AI character class and other placeholders, like teleports, uh, spawn points, static character classes, everything will work. Let's check it. Open main level, in world settings, set game mode, uh, select uh, game mode for your project, third person game mode for my sample. Play. So save game, load game, progress is saved. In quest system I use special interaction interface to interact with any actor in the world. In player controller I use special logic to determine with what target player will interact. And when player press, press R hotkey I call interaction function from a target. Interaction interface is implemented in BP object and its child classes. If you use own interaction interface, just replace it. These classes are used as examples. You can implement interfaces and copy logic to your own classes if you want. Most likely, in your project you are using your own AI class. I don't know how exactly you spawn AI in the world in your project. I do this via spawner and spawn points. And recommend you to do the same. Uh, since with them you can spawn AI in the world uh, when you really need it. Let's look at AI for quest sublevel. Select spawn point. AI is spawned only when quest is activated, and this AI is assigned with specific objective. Let's open spawn point actor. When initialization, in our case when sublevel is loaded, spawn point checks if, assigned, if any assigned objective is available. If true, AI is spawned. If false, Spawn point binds to spawn event and will waiting for the request from quest manager. I will think that you are using the same spawn system. So I will show you what logic should be copied to your AI class and how to replace references to your AI class. Open quest AI class. Open your AI class. Copy widget components.
implement three interfaces. Also copy all logic from event graph. Let's set default value for parameter quest marker. All AI in the world will use this marker. Let's look at function need add marker to compass. Vendor variable is the simplest way to determine if AI is vendor. Let's create vendor AI. Create child blueprint for AI. Name it BP AI vendor. Set vendor variable true. Vendor marker. Set default value for parameter vendor marker. Vendor. Also, you can implement some functionality for monster. Let's create child class from BPI, name it BPI monster. Open it. Open my BP quest I movable class. This is monster. We see that we need to write can interact, interact interface function. Player cannot interact with monster. Copy any damage logic. This is very simple logic. AI notifies spawn manager that it is killed and notifies quest manager about it. Copy begin play logic. At last we need to replace reference to AI. Open spawn point actor. Open I class for spawn point set instant sensitable expose on spawn. Refresh. As you can see, I use level streaming with sublevels. In order to generate navmesh correctly, I use the several settings. 
Project Settings, Nav Mesh, Navigation Mesh, Runtime Generation Dynamic, Navigation System, Generate Navigation Only Around Navigation Invokers, Enable. All Spawn TI will generate Nav Mesh around Cell. Don't forget set new AI class for all spawn points on main level and on dungeon level. Also don't forget set new game mode for dungeon level. Play the game. As you can see new AI is spawned. We can interact with the AI. We can kill the AI. Yeah, is movable and uh, shown on world map.